I'm Amelia and I'm a degree apprentice at JLR getting my degree from Warwick University WMG. I'm a battery research engineer where I mainly focus on battery modelling. This is simulating how batteries behave electrically and thermally using mathematical software. Snowboarding and the design of snowboards is what first made me think I wanted to do engineering where boards have a different surface area but how it sits on the snow for different applications which I thought was awesome and then I really saw that well somebody's thought about this, designed it, picked the materials, it's not just something that happened and it's not just there and then as I got older the electric cars, autonomous vehicles was something I really wanted to look into. Apprentices complete the same application process as any employee would. They fill out a form that says what their GCSE results were and what their predicted A-level results are. When they pass the general background checks, they then get sent online aptitude tests. So they give you some training ones and then you have a week to prep before they do these in between each one. If you pass all of them, you can get invited to an interview, which has different stages to it. So you have a group interview that's seeing how you work with others and they just want to see that you'll work as a team. And it's much more about can they teach you? How much do you want to learn? Where's your passion? The biggest tip is just keep asking all the questions that pop into your head and keep talking until they tell you to shut up. So my coolest moment so far was a colleague was just talking about a problem they were having and I was just thinking about it and I'd seen a snowboarding pattern recently for the bindings about how the foot moves within it and this was actually something they could use in this project and to me that was really seeing innovation in practice which is a buzzword you constantly hear but it's really hard to sort of see and understand and it's not just about inventing new things, it's reusing different ideals that are out there. And it was awesome to get to bring the two worlds together. Another one is that how much I use my A-levels here and how all these really complex problems get broken down into such simple ideals that you can relay the same principles you learned at A-level to actually be able to solve these PhD level problems. What excites me about engineering is how much there is to it. It just keeps going, there's never ending problems, there's so much more left to discover that one of the biggest things is actually knowing when to stop, when to know that you've done enough and when to know that a product's good enough. If you know what you want to do and what field you want to work in, a degree apprenticeship's perfect for you. You're really immersive within what you do so you get a massive head start on your career. You meet experts and you get to work with the experts within this so you can learn from and apply what you do both ways, but you have to be able to balance everything so time management is really crucial to be able to have a life study and work.